Okay, we're going to look at a more complicated uh, texturing option here. Uh, I'm in Blender 2.75, but again, this should work with any recent version of Blender. Um, so I'm going to open up my uh, ship that we made. So I've opened up the ship that we made in the last tutorial, uh, but again, we don't have a texture here, so I'm going to texture this. Now, it's easier to texture this. Remember, at one point, we added a a subsurface smoother, a subdivision surface uh, smoother out here. And it's uh, easier to texture when we don't have all these surfaces, all these polygons. So I'm going to go uh, click on this uh, wrench option, which is our modifiers. And the only one that we have is this subsurface one. And I'm going to go to the eye here and turn it off. So now I'm back to my chunky old uh, ship. And this is what I'm going to sh uh, texture. And once I've textured this, I can turn this back on and everything will fit fine, uh, generally. So again, so I'm going to go into edit mode and select faces and hit AA to select all the faces. So all the faces are selected here. Go to UV mappings um, and I can unwrap this. I'm gonna first redo my windows a little bit. I'm gonna bring open a new window here and switch this from 3D view to UV edit editor and zoom in a little bit, okay. So now I'm going to try some unwrappings. Now there are different projections. There's a cube projection. Oh, that looks awful. Sometimes that that's nice. I could try a cylinder projection. Uh, I could try sphere projections, try different things. Um, I can just do the smart or UV wrap um, or a smart UV wrap and do that. And that, that does a pretty good projection, try to do, have things somewhat connected here uh, and visible. So I'll just use that. Now, if you're doing this uh, and for a serious model where you want to paint like a, a person with a face, you want to make sure lots of things are connected. So you will actually go through here and we can mark seams. Um, so I can select me move this over, select edges, and I can select different edges that are, are going to break up the image in different ways. Uh, uh, let's hold down shift uh, while I select some of these uh, edges. Um, and often we mark uh, areas around my image, and then I can mark these seams, mark a bunch of seams, and then try to do a smart UV wrap. Uh, Oops, I have to select all my faces first. Uh, a, A, oops, A, and then do a smart GB rough. And uh, it'll try to map things out a little differently here. Um, but again, I don't actually, I don't like this, the way I've unwrapped this any better, I don't think, than my other one, because I haven't marked that many faces. Another thing you can do is you can select different sections, just certain faces, like that face, that face. Um, so I could select part of this uh, if surface. Let's see, I'm going to select these faces too, I think. And then I can unwrap by like my from my view, and it'll give me that exact view what I have with all those faces in here. And I can move this all around. Oops. Uh, Let's see, it's like this, and I can move it around or I could scale it and make it smaller and just stick it into one corner of my image uh, here, and then do that the same thing for the other sides. Uh, uh, so there's lots of tutorials online about how to do different UV mappings, but we're going to stick with the simple, I'm just going to select AA to select all the faces, all the faces are selected, and do smart UV mapping, and hit OK. And, uh, here's all, um, all the faces mapped here. Now it's hard to tell what everything is, but that's the problem we have with this sort of UV mapping. So just create some sort of UV mapping. Now again, we save this under UVs. We go, oops, export layout. Um, I'm going to go to my desktop and save this. Uh, 
this. So I'll just spaceship record UVs. Uh, and export that. Um, oh, and again, I should save that to the same folder as my image, and that's one thing I did. So I'm going to resave my image uh, out to the desktop also, so that the image and my file are both in the same location. You always want your Blender file and your uh, UV image or texture yeah, in the same folder. Okay, so now I've got this. I've got to add a, la, la, a material to this possibly. Now, if you remember when we created this, we created this with the default uh, cube when you start a Blender. And the default cube has a material in it and a texture. So I... Uh, when sometimes you have to do this, you have to add a material, but here I don't. I can just go into the node editor um, oops, node editor and turn the node editor on. See use nodes. I want to turn that on. and I should see uh, my let's zoom in the output and a default material here. Now, if you're importing things into um, Unity and working with them, it's nice to have the default material not called material, but like spaceship material, because this will this is what will show up as a material here. Uh, so I'm just going to go here and, and click on this and change its name. So to change its name, I just click down here, and I'm just going to call this spaceship material okay so now it's spaceship material uh, and that's what should show up in unity when we're done okay now I'm gonna just scroll over a little bit um, I'm gonna switch this to cycles rendering add a texture an image texture put that over here remember correct uh, again what we're doing is we're just connecting the color to the color drag those out and open up my UVs. Oh, but I haven't painted my UVs yet, have I? I forgot to do that. So I'm just going to link those in for now. But I have to go out. I've exported this, but I haven't colored it. So let's go and color it. So I've got my PNG file here. Again, you can open it up in uh, GIMP or th or something else or uh, in editor. I'm going to open it up in GIMP and just show it that because we I did an earlier one in um the other um in just uh paint so um so again in photoshop or gimp very similar i, I can create layers so i'm going to create a new layer here uh called uv uh colors um and then I'm just going to paint, uh, let's say I want most of the spaceship one set color. Uh, so I'm going to select a color for the spaceship um, here. I'm going to make a greenish spaceship. Uh, and so I'm going to go paint bucket, paint this all. I'm going to turn opacity down so I can see uh, the UVs underneath it. Um, Another thing I can do is just paint uh, different parts of it or draw designs on my shape. So right now, the whole spaceship is going to be uh, one color, green. And so maybe I want to paint some of it. Again, so one of the things we've, we looked at last time was just um, painting some of these uh, areas different colors. So maybe I could go in and... Uh, and paint some of these things different colors uh, and seeing where that shows up on my uh, spaceship. Another thing I can do, let's turn this back on, is I could draw some designs on this or something like that. Uh, so that's like a different color uh, and paint some racing stripes on things. Now, um, and again, so I can, if this was mapped better, I could probably know what uh, what these parts are. Uh, and so right now I don't know what these parts are, and so I'm just drawing on them 
in different colors so I can see that. So, oops, I really want to be painting, I think, on this layer. Uh, Okay, um, and again, uh, often when we're working with like a detailed uh, character, you will have map out the polygons, the faces for the face and the uh, hands, and you will do some detailed paint work around those uh, areas. But I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. I'm just going to save this image. Since I'm in uh, GIMP uh, or Photoshop, things like that, I have to export this to save it as a, uh, my PNG file. Export this and replace the one that's out there. Okay, and let's quit this. And go back into Blender. Uh, now let's see so I did add this image here and I've just changed it let's see if I can see the texture now and there's my texture for my image um, and again sometimes I can go in here and now modify it now if I want to look at the faces here I'm going to get rid of uh, let's see resizes I'm going to get rid of this node editor I don't need that anymore and I'm going to resize this a little bit Okay, if I go to faces, let's say I want to w wonder where these faces are. They're kind of scattered around my image here. And that's one of the problems. They're not located. So it's, it's going to be a challenge to get like the cockpit all uh, painted the same color here. So that's going to be a problem. Um, and same with some of these sides. So again, that, that gives you an idea of why you might want to do better job at unwrapping these things so that you can unwrap these in a certain area and do that. So uh, we'll possibly look at a more detailed version of that unwrapping later on. Or, and there's some nice unwrapping uh, tutorials online also. Um, oh yeah, and last thing, I'm gonna go back to select all the faces. And again, what I can do is look uh, at that image here and see uh, what that works on. And I can actually move some things around. So if I wanted some more things like this color, like uh, I can move this uh, these surfaces over into this color area. So if you have a different color region and you just are coloring things, you can just select regions and move them in uh, and reuse these color spaces very easily. So you can do objects like that. Uh, okay. Uh, but the basic idea here is that it's working. I'm going to get rid of this UV window for now. Here's my spaceship. I'm going to turn back on. Remember, we turned off under the wrench, the modifier, the eye. I'm going to turn that on again, and I should be able to see um, my original spaceship here. Let's go back into edit mode, and there's my full spaceship all wrapped nicely. Um, now I'm going to save that uh, and close out, and I'll just show you how to uh, work that into Unity again. So I've got Unity up and running now. I can drag the Blender file right and uh, uh, right into you, the Assets folder here and the Spaceship. Uh, but again, I can also drag them into the folder itself. So if I go find my project in uh, a File Explorer and go under Assets, here's where things are. And I can then just drag my uh, Spaceship into here and drag my Material here. Maybe I want to put that into Materials. Um, or whatever, so put that here. Now when I switch back to Blender, no, I'm going to switch back to Unity, it'll run the importer uh, just as if I dragged them onto here. So I should have my spaceship here uh, and my spaceship uh, version. 
Oops, I noticed I dragged my spaceship. When you save things in Blender, it uh, saves a backup file as well as the regular file. So I actually copied the backup file. Uh, it's called um, Spaceship One, uh, One Meta stuff. So I'm going to redo this and drag my actual Blender file into here. And then go into Unity. And yeah, it should import my spaceship appropriately. Okay, now by default it shouldn't show up in your scene. It did before because I'd actually done this bef uh, once before and hadn't deleted it entirely. So it should show up down here as your spaceship and you should be able to drag it up here and add it to your scene. I'm getting shadows from my box or my coin here. So I can put it up uh, in some location here. Now it, it's probably not textured by default. Uh, so again, I've got to find my texture and, I, and drag that and drop that onto here. Uh, for that. Uh, and then I have my spaceship all ready to go textured.